I think nature is the gift for all of us. It's of prime importance for me. It is the right time that we start migrating from the fossil fuel to clean energy sources. It is the dawn of new industrial age that we are heading towards. Father was a mango farmer, so I developed an early love for environment, nature, being just out there, breathing the natural air. Yes. So everything was very close to nature in very close proximity with nature. Most cities around the world, traffic congestion and pollution is the biggest issue. Sometimes it just feels so overwhelming. And nowadays there are a lot of uh, industrial activities uh, going on around, you know. But this has to be done sustainably so that we can reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. When I asked you about the safety training that we wanted for the cylinders, can we, we do can it? We, it? we can schedule it, no problem. Just let me know the time and members sure. and we sure. can schedule the training. Yes. How to do the changeover because we are dealing with hydrogen and all right. that stuff. Our ride was good, like smooth, we reached office. All my working life, I have dedicated it to fighting the impacts or the effects of fossil fuel. It's been dedicated into the clean energy or the renewable energy sectors. Okay, so green hydrogen, I am really excited about green hydrogen. I strongly believe that it can uh, decarbonize a lot of hard to abate sectors. I work as a senior testing engineer for testing of next generation proton exchange membrane electrolyzers. So these are the proton exchange membrane electrolyzers. These are basically the miniature version of the electrolyzers that we actually use in our system. With the help of renewable electricity, water breaks into uh, hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen can be stored and then put into different industrial uses and oxygen can be freed to the atmosphere or they can also be used in different industrial and medical applications. When you look at our world today, we're seeing more and more devastating environmental impact from climate change. And so, you know, for me, when you think of how do you impact this problem, the thing that I know I can do personally is work with others and focus on hydrogen uh, as, a, as an alternate to fossil fuels. For a long time, it's been successful to use fossil fuel type energy inputs, whether that's coal or oil or natural gas, and feed those into large plants to do something for you know, us as people. So instead, what do we do? We substitute hydrogen for those energy flows of oil or coal or natural gas. And then of course, we can make the hydrogen from renewable energy source, wind, solar, etc., and uh, water. We wanted to celebrate Harvest Festival in Omium International Facility in Bangalore, and we wanted to showcase the versatility of green hydrogen and how it can be put to use for different applications. All her life, she has just cooked on, you know, wood fires or LPG. But now yes. she was very excited. She was like, where is the flame? How are you guys even <laughs> cooking? When you look at the product we make, it's modular, it's a consistently built assembly and sub-assembly slide in and out very rapidly. I feel very happy about this. Not all parts of the world have huge trucks. And it's really important that when you go to deliver a product, you be able to deliver it with the infrastructure that's available. Would it fit in a smaller truck? It would. Um, of course it'll fit into a huge truck in Europe or the US but you want to design so it can go anywhere. Today we went and visited the Ayana Solar Park. There are many solar parks around the world, renewable sites around the world, where at times of the day, the electrical utility doesn't have a use for all the electricity being produced. They just hold back from making all the potential that they could in that solar park. What a great opportunity to then take that energy and direct it slightly sideways over to the very nice omium electrolyzers, make hydrogen at that time while the sun's shining, 
And then of course you can either store that hydrogen for later use, you can use it at night, or you can send it off to do things like make steel, make ammonia, and other things that can feed into the economy. Science is clear. Greenhouse gas emissions has to be almost half by 2030. I have huge hopes we can transition from fossil fuel era to green hydrogen or renewable energy era. There are a lot of things like green hydrogen mission and a lot of uh, things are going across the world also. The hopes are high, we will reach there. Yeah. Okay.